there. Okay. I want you to look right there by my fingernail. Oh my god. You see that flicker? Oh. Oh my god. <laughs> Is this real? Yeah. Oh my god. That's crazy. <laughs> that wasn't there like two days ago. I know. Three days ago. I know. Makes you feel good, doesn't it? Yeah. Oh my yeah. gosh. It's all the stress, the worry, everything. It's worth it when you like can see can that dream. right there. That's it, right there. It's amazing. Yeah. So, as I said, this is a perfect ultrasound. So, we're seeing more than we normally would see. So, I'm going to do something called an M wave, okay? Okay. It won't damage the cellular tissue, but it'll give us a measurement. Those are heartbeats. Oh my god. That's very cool. Oh, let's see. I cannot believe it. It's really good. Baby's heartbeat is 153. I would have been looking for anything at least 90 or greater. Okay. So probably what she was looking at was this. See that little white area right there? Mm -hmm. If I roll back over to the other side, it's almost like they're two significant areas on the same mm -hmm. yolk set. Yeah. Now, it could be that that's just um, vascular, like related to blood flow. Okay. Okay. That's possible that's what it is. We can't really tell because you're so early. Early, yeah. But that's what I think it is. I don't think it's like another baby. Okay. It doesn't look like that to me. Hi, guys. Good morning. We are about to go to my seven-week ultrasound. I'm seven weeks and one day today. Um... I'm really nervous. I feel really nauseous, but I'm also pregnant. <laughs> but I'm excited. I uh, I just, I'm really nervous. I always brace myself and prepare myself for the worst at these visits. At the last visit, I don't know if you saw, there was like a little white spot in our ultrasound like next to the baby. So I feel like since it's been a week since that ultrasound, we'll really get an idea of like what it could be, what it is today so I'm just whew, I'm like really nervous but of course I'm gonna film everything if I can um, and yeah right on the money let's listen now <laughs> sounds great One thirty one. Very nice. The next few weeks, like major transformation. We'll see little arms and legs starting to poke out, and wow. then here in about a month, it looks like a real, a real human, fully formed. Wow. All right. Congrats. Thank you. Well. Yeah, you're welcome. We're seven. I can't believe it. <laughs> Got the evidence. <laughs> oh. <laughs> God, it's so big since last time. <laughs> I know. Did you hear the heartbeat? Okay, I'm back home now. I still just can't believe that this is happening. I had a lot of anxiety. Um, like going into this particular appointment, I had a lot of anxiety. Like I kind of in my heart was like, oh, I hate to even say this, but it's real life. I mean, if you've been through, even if you haven't been through any like trauma when it comes to trying to conceive or pregnancy or whatever, it's like really nerve wracking, but I just, I don't know like Matt was like is there anything like any vitamin you can get to like ease your mind or your anxiety he hates to see me like panicking and like I start to like prepare myself for the worst like I literally 
like think in my head like okay after this appointment if it's bad like how am how am i gonna tell like my family like what am i gonna do am i gonna like i don't know i just i hate thinking that way but i think that that's like just my go-to like survival skill whenever it comes to all of this just like whenever i had my egg retrieval my doctor said we got 21 eggs and i was bawling i was crying i was unhappy with 21 eggs like it's just i don't know it's just completely normal to not be the positive person that you once were and i just want to share that that's completely normal um a lot of people will put on the internet whenever they go through this process that it's just rainbows and butterflies and all you see on youtube because we're in charge of hitting the record button is our happy moments and i just wanted to be really um transparent about how i've been feeling so before this appointment was really bad and we have to wear masks and i couldn't breathe i almost had a panic attack in the elevator i just had a feeling that things weren't going to be good and to my surprise every time everything's fine i just like <laughs> look look at that baby like what what i think another thing is like i'm not puking um so i'm just like I know I'm pregnant because I'm really, really tired. I have a pin right here, I'm sorry. I know I'm pregnant because I'm really, really tired um, and I'm queasy and my appetite has changed to where like cooked food, like warm food just like grosses me out. By the way, I am filming um, my two week wait video. So from my embryo transfer in two weeks after that, I filmed that video already and then I filmed my four to five week symptoms and things that were going on in my life at that time. And then I think I'm gonna do every two week update. So after I kind of stop with the IVF series and the ultrasounds and stuff, then I'm gonna start uploading, kind of back backtrack my symptoms and everything. Because I know that's what people are looking for. They're trying to see like, okay, how did you feel after this? Or how are you feeling here? Or um, yeah, so I just really wanted to film that. And then also, for future babies i want to be able to go back and kind of see like what i was feeling at that point and be able to like have a gauge and kind of compare it thought that that would be really good um it's crazy i still don't feel like it's real i'm seven weeks right now and i've had this little baby book since before my transfer i bought this just to like get me in like good spirits really pretty i wanted something on the smaller side really simple so i did order this off amazon it was also like really affordable i didn't want to spend a lot of money um because they all get the job done but i liked how this was formatted too and i'm going to share i'm going to share all of these little details with y'all once i can really be excited and i hate to say that i hate to say that because i wouldn't wish anything bad to happen to my baby and I feel really guilty saying that because this is their life and I'm just talking about it like it could be taken away from them and I hate that. It's just really hard. So I did get home from my appointment today and there are some pages in this book that are um, like your pregnancy test photo and the day you found out you're pregnant, your first ultrasound photo, um, first heartbeat, first positive pregnancy test date, first doctor's appointments date, when you first heard the heartbeat, um, your very first bump picture, which I did at six weeks. So I'm very much behind and I've kind of refused to write in here up until this point. And then I told Matt yesterday, maybe the day before that, if this appointment at seven weeks was good, then I'm writing in the baby book. And I think I'm gonna do it today. I, like, I think I'm gonna like glue the baby's pictures in and I think I'm gonna do it. I think this is my baby. <laughs> it's just the weirdest thing, but I, I wanna share those feelings with you. Like, I'm not the devil. I'm not a bad mom. 
it's just a way to protect yourself whenever you've been through some shit. So um, I just wanna share these feelings. I mean, it's been rough. I'm seven weeks and I still am like, how many times a day can one person go to the bathroom and check for blood? Like, it's just like that. And that's the truth and that's the reality. And I don't know if that's gonna go away once I'm in the second trimester or once I can like actually announce it to the world. Maybe that will go away, but we'll see all good up until this point. And I want to tell y'all so freaking bad because I know y'all are gonna die. The people that have connected with me on YouTube and on Instagram that are like, y'all are going through IVF or you are, you know, about to have your embryo transfer or you're, you've started your shots. Like, I want to just like share with my community so bad, even like people that aren't going through this but have been rooting for us and following my journey. Like, I just want to share so bad because I know y'all are y'all are gonna just die along with me um so i just i can't wait i'll be there if you reach out to me